Hello, it's Rebecca and today is another book review day and I have been reading Love That Dog by Sharon Creech. Now, this book doesn't have a blurb on the back, sadly, but there is a quote from Benjamin Zephaniah which kind of encompasses what the book is about, so I'll read that to you instead. Is it a diary? Is it poetry? Is it a novel? Who cares? It's simply the most original book I've read for years, and I see it as my duty to tell the world that the book that cannot be pigeonholed has been written. Long live the author, may her imagination touch us all. That kind of pretty much says what the book is. It's a very short book, and it starts off from the point of view of a boy, a schoolboy, who thinks poetry is for girls. He doesn't want to write any poetry because only girls write poetry. And as we go through the book and the story develops and we see snippets of what he's been asked to do at school by his teacher, we see a boy growing in his emotions, in his education, in the way he learns, in the way he thinks, and it's absolutely lovely. So he starts off, like I say, thinking poetry is just for girls. Then his English teacher reads him some poetry, or reads the class some poetry, and he slowly starts to fall in love with it, and he starts to write it, and he's a bit embarrassed, and he doesn't want other people to know what he's written, and it goes up on the wall, but he doesn't want his name on it. And then as we go on, we just see this amazing transformation in his attitude, in the way he writes, in the way he thinks. And it is so bizarre. Like Benjamin Zephaniah says, is it a diary? So we have things like February the 7th, what's that, February the 15th. So that shows us what he's doing at school. Each page is written as if it were a poem. So there, it, it's not written as a storybook would be written, if that makes any sense. But it is a story, and you forget that it's written like a poem, because you've, you've just fallen in love with this boy, and you've just been thrown into his world. And as, well, for me personally, remembering childhood and hating something, and oh, I'm never going to do that, I don't like it, and then you learn to love it, or you learn to get along with it. And it's, it's a short book barely 10 minutes worth of reading but it's one of those books that makes you look at yourself makes you look at the world and I like books like that I like books that make you take notice of things so certainly worth a read and I have her other couple I think it's hate that cat and replay I have them there they are um, so I will be reading those but this certainly was a very enjoyable read and exactly I agree with Benjamin Zephaniah it is indescribable so read this so if you'd like to hear any of my other book reviews then please subscribe to my channel I put new uh, videos out every time I've read a book I occasionally give writing advice talk about writing anything to do with books and reading and writing and stuff so if you're interested in that kind of thing please subscribe and I will see you soon have a good day bye bye